Hey guys, it's Elaine, the Ninja Life Coach, and welcome to my channel today. Today is Wig Talk Tuesday. So sit back, grab yourselves a cup of coffee. I'll be right back. Hey everybody, I'm back. And today we're gonna talk a little bit. I want to share with you all just a bit of the process that goes into doing wig reviews for some of these wig companies. Now, when you do wig reviews for companies and vendors like Amazon or vendors from, that are just like wig companies from say, you know, China or places like that, it's an entirely different process that you go through from doing vendors like Diva Tress or um, the wig company or even Uniwigs or um, Ellen Villa. The process is entirely different. So let's talk about that process because I would like for you all to be involved a little bit in what goes on so that you know what wig reviewers have to do. So the first thing you do, you're contacted by a company and they say, you know, hey, we saw your, usually it's their social media director and they're like, hey, you know, we saw your videos. We want you to review a wig. Here's, you know, here's wigs that we have. Would you like to review for us? And then you go online, you look and you see and you think, well, you're okay. I know I've reviewed some, some funky wigs on here, but there are a few that I'm like, you know what? No, I'm not reviewing. I'm not, I, there's nothing here for me to review. So, um, you know, there are a lot of, wig companies out there, but I do like to give you all a big variety and that's why I do review Amazon wigs and I do review higher end wigs just simply because I try to give you all a variety of the cheaper wigs and the more expensive wigs if I possibly can. So let's talk about that process and what, what goes into that. Well, when, when I get the wig, usually there is a time frame that the vendor wants me to do the review in. Usually it's within two weeks, especially if it's an Amazon vendor or the wigs coming from a different country. They usually want you to review that wig within two weeks, have it up and go. And they want your the pictures, they want everything. I mean, they want it and they want it right now. Now, when you're dealing with companies from America, when you're dealing with some of the American vendors, you don't really have that um, you don't really have that push, but then again, you get the wig usually in, you know, two to three days. So it's a little different when you've got a wig coming from China or you have a wig coming from, you know, like the UK. I've done some wigs from the UK before and it takes the wigs about two weeks to get here. So their, want, their, their time frame is a little bit different. They're, of course, they're wanting it up there as quick as they possibly can because it's taken the wig two weeks to get here. And that's okay by me. I don't care. If I've, got, if I've got time, I will gladly do that in exchange for them sending me a free wig. I will gladly do it in as timely a manner as I possibly can. Now, the one thing I wanted to make sure that you all understand, and I, I know there's been a lot of misunderstanding about this with the wig community. A lot of wig reviewers that get wigs free to review, and I am one of them, you know, the wigs, the, these wig companies, they send me a wig and I do not pay for the wig most of the time. Now, the Ellen Villa wigs I've reviewed, I paid for every one of those wigs. I bought them myself. Some of my Amazon wigs I have purchased myself, but not every wig that I get that I purchase. I don't purchase wigs from the wig company. They're good enough to send me. Una Wigs sends me wigs from, from, the, from them. They, I don't purchase wigs from them. Some of my Amazon vendors, most of them, I don't purchase those wigs. They send them to me just because they want me to do a review on the wig. And I'm happy to do that. And I'm happy to, you know, to, you know, give them my honest review like I always do. But I've had a lot of um, people ask me, well, do you donate your wigs? I do donate a lot of my wigs. Most of my wigs that I have, I've got a ton that I still have here and I need to go through. But I've started to, now that I've got a, a, a Facebook group, I do, I've been doing live wig sales in there on some of my wigs. So um, a lot of my wigs I do donate, but some I do sell. It just kind of depends on the wig and what, it just kind of depends. You know, some wigs, I have given wigs to theater companies before. Some of the wigs that are, you know, kind of, some of my pink and green and blue wigs, I keep here and I use when I do Mary Kay makeovers, especially for some younger girls. They really love that because they can play with different color wigs and they can try different looks. And us old gals like to do that too. You know, if someone comes in, they want a makeover, then, you know, I'll say, hey, have you ever thought about changing your hairstyle? We'll just try on wigs for, you know, 30, 45 minutes. And it's fun. And I try to make that pleasurable and use those for my business. But there is a process that goes through this. Um, 
you know, because you have to do a little bit of research for the week. You have to look, look into the company just a little bit. So that's something I look into a little bit more diligently than I used to because back when I first started doing this, I just thought everybody was my friend and they were just all wanting to help me out. And that turns out not to be the case. So um, that's one thing that you have to do. Another thing you have to do is I have to set up the studio. You know, I have to make sure the lighting is good. I have to make sure that the sound is good. I have to make sure that um, everything's properly where it's supposed to be. Everything has to be right here laid out, accessible so I can get to it. I have to block off a couple of hours worth of time to make the videos. And you know, there are things that go into it. So the wig that comes as a free wig, it's really far from free, to be honest with you. Because the time that you spend fixing the wig, steaming the wig, doing everything that you have to do to the wig to get the wig out of the box, especially if it comes out with box hair, there's a there's work that goes into it, which that's okay. I don't mind doing that. I like it. I like to fiddle with wigs, but I've heard it said in some of the communities that I'm a member of, well, you should give those wigs away. You know, those were free wigs. Well, they're not exactly free. Yes, I didn't pay for them monetarily. There was no money exchanged, but there was an exchange of a big chunk of my time to make these videos. So that's, the, that's kind of how that works. So I wanted to kind of let you all in on how that works. I don't know how it works quite with other wig reviewers. I know some of the ladies I know that do wig reviews, they will buy used wigs from some of their wig sisters and they will review those wigs. And that's perfectly fine. If that's the way they want to do it, that's perfectly fine. I've known some ladies that they buy every single wig that they review. I've been very blessed that I haven't had to do that, but some reviewers do and they would prefer to do that. And that's okay, that's perfectly fine. I think either way you can get an honest review. And I try, even though the, the wig comes to me free, I try to be very honest about it. And if there's a wig that I get that I just think does not meet the specs. And what I do is my criteria for the wig is what does it say on the website? What does it say about the wig? Does it meet what it says? Now, whether I like the wig or whether I enjoy the wig or whether it's a wig I would wear every day, that doesn't really matter. An honest reviewer has to go off of what is on that website. Does it look as it's presented? And I've got to say, for the most part, I've been very blessed like that. Most every wig that I have gotten, I've been able to, you know, it's been a good wig. I've been able to give it a good review. And that's how you give an Amazon $17 wig a good review, and you give a $1,700 wig a good review. If it is, if it hits the specs, now if it doesn't, that's a whole different ball of wax. And I've had some that didn't. And I've contacted the vendor and I said, you know, I, I don't think you're going to want me to review this wig. This is, this is not something that I think that my audience is going to like. And I'm not going to be able to even say, I can't find anything positive to say about this wig. And so, you know, I do try to not throw anybody under the bus and just come on here and say, this is the worst wig I've ever seen because I think that's unfair. I, th I think that's unfair. I wouldn't want someone to do my business that way. So I always contact the vendor and say, hey, you know what? There's problem with this wig. And that's only happened two times since I've been doing this, so I've been very blessed. That's my Wig Talk Tuesday for the day. So if you have wondered the process about reviewing wigs, please don't think that everything that we wig reviewers get is totally free because I'm telling you ladies, it certainly is not. It certainly isn't free. Yes, there are no money, there's no money exchanged, but the exchange of time and the exchange of stress sometimes is <laughs> quite large because the you know they do have time constraints most of the time they want it up quickly and sometimes that's just not possible and i get comments i get private messages and stuff from people um especially on facebook or things of that nature or they'll want they'll want me to to do the wig review and then wear the wig for a couple of weeks and then come back and do another review and while that would be excellent if I actually could do that. To be honest, mo most wig reviewers simply do not have time to do that because we all work other jobs. And it's pretty hard to wear a wig, the same wig for a couple of weeks. For me, it is anyway. 
Um, I normally rotate my wigs in and out quite frequently, so I don't wear my wigs every day. Now, I've got my favorites that I wear more than others, but, you know, I may wear a brown one today and a black one tomorrow and a blonde one the next day and a red one the next day. So, that is the fun to me of wig wearing. And if I had somebody had to tell me, you have to wear that same wig every day for two weeks, I'd pull my hair out, literally. Literally, I'd flip my wig. So, um, to me, the fun of wearing a wig is to be able to rotate it out and wear what I want to wear. So, that's probably not ever going to happen on this channel. Now, it might, you know, if somebody just, you know, if, you know, if I want to do something kind of weird and odd one, one week, I might do that, you know, sleeping in a wig or something. The things that are more, that are important to me on a wig may not be important to you. So, I can't read every single thing about the wig to you off. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and just read it right off the website because, that, that would be boring. That would be boring to about 85% of you guys, and there has to be an element of entertainment in here, or you're simply just not going to watch it, and I wouldn't either. So, doing a wig review is, they're fun. I enjoy it. It's something that I'm hoping in the future to continue to be doing. As long as I get the wigs, and I don't have to pay an arm and a leg for the wigs, I will continue to do wig reviews. But now if the time ever comes when I'm having to pay two or $300 for a wig to do a wig review, I probably won't be doing those anymore. I'll probably go back to just doing Amazon wigs and let it just be that, and let that be it. But um, right now I've, I've been very blessed with some of these wig companies have been good enough to send me free wigs to review. And that's kind of, that's kind of a dream come true for me. And I realize how blessed I am to be able to do that. But I just wanna let you know that free wigs are not necessarily free. There's a lot that goes into that. There's a lot that goes into a wig review and it's not a great deal of time, but it's, a, it's time consuming enough that it takes a couple of hours out of your day. That's why I try to do all my reviews on the same day. If I've got two or three wigs here or two or three uh, videos I need to make, I'll try to do them all on the same day, just simply because I can block off four or five hours worth of time. I can do my videos, I can edit, I can do everything all at once. And it takes five to seven hours, depending on the length of the video, to get to get it, to get everything complete, to do three videos. It takes me that. And if it takes me that, and I'm pretty simple with my editing and stuff, I just go in cut, paste, cut, and paste. I can only imagine some of these other reviewers that have some of these big high dollar studios I can't even imagine how long it takes them. So free isn't necessarily free. Listen, you guys, I just wanted to have this discussion with you all today. What do you all think about that? And I do try to give back to the community. I do try to donate as many as I can, but I do sell some of them, but I do try to donate them if I possibly can. But um, y'all let me know what y'all think. Is this something that you would like to do? And if you would, I'd be more than happy to tell you how I got started doing this and we'll just I'll, be, I'll help you on your way any way you want to do, sister, because there's plenty of wigs in, there's, in the world. There's plenty of wigs to go around. There is not a shortage in the world of wigs. Guys, have a great day. God bless you all. I love you guys. Maranatha.